Hello and welcome to our beauty, lifestyle and fashion show. I'm your host, Adeze Adwaka. And I'm EJ Kimura, your co-host. Now, let's dive into the latest buzz in the world of beauty, fashion and lifestyle. These are the headlines. Whiskid and David O clash over Puma brand endorsement. Thames brings the heat to Jennifer Hudson's show with Love Me JJ performance. Kanye West and Bianca Sensori head for divorce two years later. Puma collaborates with Davido for the new collection Puma slash Davido. Aria Star sets the stage at Johannesburg on fire with gorgeous white outfits. And on our trending segment, Whiskid and Davido's recent conflict began over an endorsement deal with Puma. Whiskid revealed that he was initially approached by the brand for a lucrative deal but declined because they couldn't meet his financial expectations. Instead, Davido ended up signing the agreement, which led to some tension between the two artists. The feud intensified when tech guru Nelson Elpiga commented on the situation, suggesting that Whiskey's relevance had diminished compared to Davido, who was still actively promoting his Puma collection in the U.S. In response, Whiskey clarified that his refusal to the deal was based on financial disagreements rather than any animosity towards Davido. I'm so sick and tired of whiskey. Yeah, I swear. Uh, like, he has been ranting yeah. for days. And mm -hmm. I did not know it was over this Puma endorsement. Yeah. That's crazy. I feel like Davido is winning either way. He is. I mean, he's winning. It's Puma huh. here. So there's nothing like, oh, he doesn't meet my financial expectations. Oh, I'm not <laughs> taking the deal, whatever. My dear, a deal is it's a, a deal. deal. And a good one at that. So oh. I would like the fact that with all the whole ranties and everything, Davido has just kept his mouth Pim. shut. I mean, Pim. Pim. And he has been posting I his swear. Puma stuff. And I really like it. I mean, it's a very good brand. It's a very good brand. brand. Yeah. And I love the way Davido. I think one thing that people really like about Davido and the reason why he's being signed by a lot of these brands yes. is the way he puts his heart and soul yes. to promoting the he brand that he it. works with. Yes, you're right. People said something that sometimes when they give, you know, uh, Whiskey or this brand ambassadorship, oh, you hardly post. So sick of him. Do you understand? You go to his Instagram and he's not <laughs> doing any promotion. So why am I signing you as a brand ambassador yeah. if you cannot put your heart into it and promote my brand? I mean, that's why I'm paying. It doesn't benefit me. It doesn't benefit yeah. me. So they'd rather just give it to David O, who oh, knows how to do gosh. this whole promotion thing. And I wonder how yeah. much Whiskey was asking Puma for for them to for him, for him yeah. to decline because they didn't mean. And it. then if you keep declining, all they will stop coming to you, oh, and they will come to those who want it. Yeah. Do you understand? And I feel like Whiskey is mm -hmm. not really approachable. Like he's not really yeah. like you get like mm -hmm. David O knows how to really really promote a brand yeah. really that's what well. I'm saying. Yeah. 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 He knows how to associate with people, yeah. make friends, do all of that. Oh, and that's why so brands actually, you know, go to Davido instead. Okay, so, so sometimes it's not just all about the money. Yes, yes. But do honest. you think that yeah. Whiskey's relevance is actually diminished by now? Do you think so? Well, well, to be honest, that's why we've been waiting to see, you know, the songs that he's going to put yeah, out. And yeah. everybody has been waiting and waiting. In fact, we're even tired of waiting. <laughs> tired like, of waiting. And you just bring out the songs already, you know. And you know one thing about music and entertainment in general? Mm -hmm. If you don't fuse it in well with social media, yes. you're even if you've made your name yes you need to just somehow somehow be active yes. on social, social media, media so yes. if you're not very active my dear <laughs> your yeah your this thing will begin to decline I understand you know what what you mean. yeah exactly. and a lot of people are mm -hmm. saying that the reason why he's doing a rant is because he has this song coming out his album that yeah. he likes to use davido to kind of like boost yeah. his and stuff I feel like up there it's unfair. yeah because, i mean whiskey fc oh, I, 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 I think it's irrelevant especially the fact that he called out you know his uncle yeah i saw that. that like why if you want oh, to fight davido just Fight him, spare, unless there's something that happened that we don't know about. I don't know, girl. I yeah. was so shocked about this. And I'm even shocked this. that Davido is quiet. Yeah. Because he would normally know. Normally, you know. <laughs> <Normally> know. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, Puma endorsement is a big endorsement. Oh, I'm really happy God. for Davido. So. Whiskey is salty. You're yeah, a salty Whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> and on our spotty segment, Thames the Grammy Award winning artist was a guest on a talk show where she performed her hit song, Love Me JJ, from her debut album, Born in the Wild. Since its release, she showcased the track on major platforms like The Tonight Show, Staring, Jimmy Fallon, and NPR's Tiny Desk Concert. Her appearance on The Jennifer Hudson Show comes during her global Born in the Wild tour, which has seen her perform in the UK, Germany, France, and various cities in the USA and Canada, wrapping up in Australia on November 15. I love Tammy. Yes. She's doing it big She's right doing now. She's so yeah. well. And, you know, I love the Jennifer Hostin show. Yes, I think I it's been too. trending on Instagram. It has. Yeah, a lot of mm -hmm. celebrities come in and, mm -hmm. you know, the crew, they're mm -hmm. clapping and yeah. singing for you. I love and it. And I love that they're doing it for our Tams. Our Tams. Like I said, you know, seeing her, you know, representing us out there. Yes, it's just yes. so beautiful. I love it. I love it for her. I'm happy yeah. that her tour is going very exactly. well. Exactly. And, you know, Tam, it's so, I mean, I'm so happy just to see a female Afrobeat singer making it. Mm. Like, it's so, you know, back in the days, females was not doing yeah. anything. 
Miss FMT was. So I'm so mm -hmm. excited at her, our star, everybody. I mean, yeah. kudos to you, Thames. We're Honestly, so proud of you. Yeah, I really love what she's doing. And, you know, they're not rated. The way they rate Thames now. I swear. Like, I don't know who's going to get to that level I right swear. now. She's gone so international. She's passed everybody. She's passed Tiwa. She's yes! passed everybody. Like, she's so international. Yeah, she has. More than Nigeria. She even. has, definitely. Like, I'm so proud of her. And on to our editorial segment, Kanye West and Bianca Sensori have reportedly ended their relationship a few weeks ago. While West has been in Tokyo, Sensori traveled to Australia to be with her family. Friends say West is looking to be single and no reason for the breakup has been provided. The couple hasn't been seen together since September 20th. Although they have often been photographed separately, they married in December 2022, just after West's divorce from Kim Kardashian, with whom he shares four children. Bianca has been a visible presence at West events, known for her bold fashion choices, which Kim expressed some discomfort because of the children. Remember, we talked about this last mm -hmm. time. We said, what if they break up? Yeah. Because the way she dresses, he's made a dress this way, mm -hmm. so provocative. Yeah. What's next? She mm -hmm. got to go to her family to just recoup. Honestly. <laughs> like, um, you know, someone said in the comment section in, you know, one of the news channels that I saw, someone said, their contract has ended. And I feel like, like, you know, sometimes you really it think? looks like, yeah, because sometimes it looks like it's a contract Oh my thing. God, I didn't Because think then about they're that. always on the news every day, every day, trying to do things that put them out wow. there. And then after a while, everything just dies. I don't understand the kind of marriages that, you know, happen in Hollywood. It's Celebrities. Always, it's yeah, always... it's always so crazy. And then, that's why I always tell women, wow. don't allow a man to, you know, use you mm. for his own best. Because now it has ended, you're on your own. You know, how do you <laughs> go back from being so naked on the streets going back to coverage nobody's gonna take to, you serious exactly trying to like rebuild your brand yeah. again it's, it's, you know just oh be God. yourself don't let anybody you know make you be someone who you are not because now i don't know like the brand she's gonna put out yeah there, you know? for kanye yeah. to say make the comment saying there's no reason for them to break up it just wants to be single like you would love you, somebody you, like yeah, i don't understand like, what's going on? all years with oh no we died together that's sorry <laughs> that's what i say i always tell women please protect yourselves God. protect your image because after all this is done, you never know. You never just know. Just protect yourself. That's that's all I'll just and say. And you know what? Because of the way she's been dressing, a lot of brands might not want to associate with her. Yeah. A lot of... I don't know I what's going to happen I mean, it was a Kanye thing, so she could do that with Kanye. She would Kanye. But her own, as an alone brand, oh. I, don't, I don't know how that's going to work. I mean, Crazy. I wish her the best. <laughs> I wish her the best. The divorce really. rate in, yeah. in, in Hollywood is yeah, really, really a lot. And they just do it like, oh, we're just... Like, it's nothing. It's marriage. It's called marriage. Oh, my God. I don't know. I, I really <sighs> wish them the best, to be honest. I mean, before you make your decision, I'm sure you must have looked into it and known, okay, this is the path that I yes, want to take. So definitely. If that's what she decided to do with her life, she's an adult. <laughs> I know so Kim's she happy, though. She should face the consequences. <laughs> 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 the consequences. <laughs> All right, and on our new collection, the Puma and David O collection embodies this fusion, showcasing a combination of traditional styles inspired by the past and modern design elements. His creativity, hard work, and distinctive style have contributed to his rising popularity in the music industry. Puma's collaboration with David O highlights the artist's risk-taking nature as they seek to partner with designers who offer unique products that stand out in the market. The designs in his collection are crafted to make a strong impression, whether on the streets or at parties, all while maintaining a focus on comfort. This partnership reflects both the essence of David O's artistry and Puma's commitment to innovation and style. I've seen it and I love it. I cannot wait yeah. to cop it because mm -hmm. I feel like Puma did really, really well with Davido with this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wonder if it was involved in the creativity in the creative of it, process. you know? Yeah. Maybe, maybe, because I think that's totally his style. Yes. I think they just got Davido style and said, mm, Definitely. let's pull this out. This is yes. like what a Davido would wear. Yes. So I it's really it. beautiful. Yes. And I think, I can't wait to see it on you, Kim. I will try to. I think it's unisex. <laughs> yeah, even me too. I'm not wait. really like a sneakers or joggers yeah. kind of thing, but I like this one. Yeah, I love it. I, I love it like too. Yeah, looking forward to it. <laughs> And on Spicy or Not, Arya Star set the stage on fire at Johannesburg with a stunning, delicate and alluring white lingerie, featuring intricate lace details that add a touch of elegance while still being incredibly stunning. The soft fabric clings to the body, showcasing every curve beautifully. The delicate straps and design elements create a sense of sophistication, while the alluring cut brings a bold edge to the ensemble. It's the perfect balance of elegance. Loved, loved, yes, loved it. I love and it. And I love it when artists wear things that make them really comfortable on yes, stage. Like yes. When I saw her perform in that dress, yes. she was giving elegance, she was giving sophistication. At the same time, she was giving sexy. You needed to see how she was winding her waist yes. on the stage wearing that white outfit. 
and then seeing it on stage and then seeing the pictures the mm. pictures were fire did mm. you see her hair she looks so amazing oh my goodness so amazing she, she looked really stunning i i think i like white on her yeah it looks really stunning <laughs> don't forget to catch us up at spice tv underscore africa until the next episode you have a lovely time Bye. -bye. Bye.